FBI is taking to Twitter, sending out a warning about what could pop up on your Zoom meeting if you're not careful. Channel 11's Mike Holden is live outside the FBI's office in Pittsburgh. And Mike, the FBI says criminals are taking advantage of the fact that so many people and organizations are relying on Zoom to conduct meetings, but they say it's not that hard to outsmart the bad guys here. Gordon, good morning to you. And I mean, it's become the new normal. We're all using this video conferencing to complete our work. But the FBI Pittsburgh right here in the south side is sending out this warning. They actually took to Twitter to explain what is happening. They say there have been almost 200 cases happening across the United States of people sharing these explicit photos and images, sometimes children. They're cracking down and they want you to report it as well. And they're referring to this as Zoom bombing. Now, the FBI says in some of of these incidents, people are actually broadcasting child sexual abuse images and they're looking to charge the people responsible. They suggest that if you fall victim to contact the FBI directly. Now we've broken down the steps to take to make sure this does not happen to you and it starts with this. Do not make video conference meetings public. Require a password. Use the waiting room feature to control the guests and finally only provide the meeting link directly to interested parties. Now this all coincides with the Leechburg Area School Board experiencing their own Zoom bombing. According to our trip partners, during a recent Zoom school board meeting, someone in attendance aired a pornographic image. District officials are investigating and trying to figure out who did this, and they ultimately had to scrap that meeting immediately. Out here live this morning, if you have fallen victim, the FBI wants you to turn over that footage, and you can do so, but make sure you record that conference call. There's actually a button on the chat in Zoom. Of course, that is crucial in reporting any issues. We're going to continue to follow this story, work to talk directly with FBI officials, and I'll update you in new reports for Channel 11 News at noon and 5 o'clock tonight. Reporting live this morning from the south side, Mike Holden, Channel 11 News.